Good afternoon. This is Pam with Follow Your Brush, but today we're going down the inkwell again. <laughs> episode, I think this is episode four of going down the inkwell. Yep, I did it. I bought the new Back to the Land to go cup to hold your pens. And obviously this is compliments of Goulet pens. They always send a Tootsie Pop, which I must put aside for my daughter and a really cute sticker. So I'm gonna set that aside. And yeah, I'm gonna do an unboxing. Can you believe that? I've never done an unboxing. And um, I've watched them and have been fascinated. And actually that's why I purchased these. So this is from Estabrook, and this is their new Back to the Land series. It's supposed to be a retro series back to the um, 70s. 70s was a good decade for me. Everybody likes to show their box. It's a beautiful box, Back to the Land with fountain pen nibs. That's fun. I am setting that aside, however. This is a pen cup. Comes with this, this is another sticker. Hooray, I got another sticker. And this, I just couldn't resist this because it's just unresistible, irresistible. This is to hold your pens. And um, it was just too cute to pass up. Hopefully that's enough to get me going here. And I have my nibs out because um, this pen comes with an ink sample. But look how cool this is. I'm really excited about this. This is called a to-go cup. And it's just really pretty. It's canvas, it says, got the Estabrook seal on there. This leather straps, and I am told that it has magnetic clip. And there it is, there's the magnetic clip. But here's another reason I liked it. You can fold this down and inside here are these little dividers that you can put your pens in. You can hold six pens inside this cup and divide them up and then they'll be safe and secure. And I just think that's awesome. Um, for a little pen case. I have some leather pen cases, but this is just so cute. And you can zip it, snap it, fold it back up, and then close it up. And, um, oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know what that's for. Now I'll have to find out. Nobody's discussed that. Maybe another pen or a strap. I don't know. Maybe this goes down in here to keep it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing. But it, you can close it up. Uh, and so that's for my pens. And yes, I have more than six pens. I can put one in here. And now, here, this is my new pen. So I'm going to put up my pen cup holder. And this is the packaging. Back to the land. Estabrook. It's my first Estabrook, actually. Um, I said we're proud to introduce to you the new fountain pen world of Write Your Life with us. With us. W-H-I-T-H. -H, with us. I don't know if that's a typo or intentional. <laughs> anyway, the one that I got, let me show you. Let's just continue here. I purchased and it's more beautiful than the videos, seriously. I purchased the Funky Lake, and this is just really gorgeous. It does come with a cartridge, and um, from what I understand, this is from Estabrook to register your pen. And so you activate your pen and uh, for your guarantee, I, I suppose, your warranty. So keep that. Put 
that over here with my lovely box. And let's look at this. This is so, so pretty. I don't know how the color's showing up on this one, but it's really, it's really beautiful. Because with a ruler, which I just purchased the other day, so I probably didn't need to do that. I purchased a ruler, I'm saying. So there's a ruler I can keep in my planner. And this is a magnetic book clip that you can put in your planner as well. Magnetic pages. And it will also hold your pen. So it's a pen clip. This is really beautiful. And um, it comes with its own ink. So let's see if I can get this out of here. It's kind of tight and my thumbs don't like to work, but I got a brace on it today to help it. So let's see what I can do. Push, push, push from the other direction. Because I do want to put this ink on a swatch. There we go, I got it. So this is Funky Lake. Let me spread out a clean paper towel. I got this new writing desk. It's actually not new, it's, a, um, it's an antique. Here's my little case for my ink. So put that over here with my box of goodies and my magnetic clip. And here's my pen. Oh, it feels so good just to even hold it just like this. I can't explain that. But it just feels good in my hand. I, I don't, I can't explain it. It just feels good to hold. I haven't even opened it yet. There's the um, logo, Estabrook. And let's open this thing and see how beautiful. Yeah, it opens nicely. Beautiful nib. You see that? Everybody does this so you can see the nib. Pretty nib. This is the blue with the brown trim. And you know, those were the colors back in the 70s. Really nice. I got a medium nib um, because I'm kind of a medium person. This really feels good. Let me see if it posts. I don't think it, well, it makes it long, but no need, no need to post it. I'm not gonna post it. I don't wanna smudge up or mar this surface. Put that down. And it does have, a cartridge converter. Nice, nice one. And it's nice, very nice. So I, that's what I'll be using. Right now I'm just gonna do an ink sample um, before I fill the pen. And so what I have been doing with my ink samples, this really feels so good. It's hard to even explain how good this feels in my hand. This kind of has a little spring when you put it in there. It's just, you kind of feel like a little push, like a little spring. That's interesting. And then you can close it up. Closes and opens quickly. Beautiful. What I've been doing, I have finally gotten myself organized with my pens and my inks. I'm actually gonna put this over here because I'm not gonna, fill the pen yet but this is my book that I have put together to keep track of my pens so I have a book for a page for every day I mean every every pen so I'm trying to say and this is from Galen Leather their everyday book it's it's the um, travel size like you would get like maybe a traveler's notebook it also always comes with a um, leather pad as well as pages print for your uh, you can put underneath for lined or your graph paper whatever you whatever you want to do 
And then also what I have been doing is I have two books that I'm keeping my ink samples in. This one is from Aerofil. I'm probably not saying this correctly. Aerofil. And uh, I bought this because they said that it shows the sheen and colors really well. So the one that I have on it uh, right now, the last one I got was the uh, giant potato. And I have a card. For, uh, I have a little holder that has cards so I can keep that. And then this is also from Galen Leather. This is their A5 notebook. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Tomo River Paper, which is my absolute favorite. I've decided I've tried it others. And uh, to me, this is my favorite paper. This is a little different. It seems a little, it, it's not as thin as this. But anyway, so that's where I'm going to put my samples in. So let me see if I can open this ink bottle without making a mess. And we're going to have a go at this ink. This ink is specially made to go with the pen. So I'm using my dip pen with the Food A Nib. It came, I bought a bunch of um, inexpen uh, an inexpensive dip pen on Amazon that came with several nibs. And this was one of them. So let me put this here. Oh, I'm surprised. I thought this was gonna match the pen. Oh, all right, there we go. It's full. There we have an ink splotch. <laughs> we'll pretend it's a sticker and uh, let it, you know, just kind of move out like an ink splot. All right, actually, I thought this was gonna be more blue, but let me let it dry a little bit and see what it does. So this is from Esther Brook. Back to the land. And this is called Funky Lake. And I don't know if this is gonna have some blue in it or not. I thought it was gonna match my pen. If it's, if it's that color, I'm not sure I actually want it in the pen. <laughs> I kinda wanted a Hmm. Let's try it on this other paper, shall we? Well, we've got plenty to choose from. I'm just going to go straight from this. I'm going to put some on my card since I have an abundance of ink. Put it up here. And fill this in as well. Now let's try it on my Tomo River paper um, and see how that looks on this one. Still quite green, isn't it? Well, now I'll wait to see if it dries. What I may have to do this is actually showing more sheen on this on the Tomo River paper. This one's supposed to show you more sheen, but I don't really see it. Interesting, but I am seeing a little bit of sheening in this one. Very interesting. Let me see if I can write with it a little bit. Probably not. <laughs> Funky Lake. Estabrook. Oops. Hope if you can spell. I never can seem to spell and write at the same time and talk. All right, that's the ink. That's very interesting because um, I really thought it was going to be blue. And there's my pen. And I do like to match my inks to my pens. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit and see what it does. But I'm not sure that I want that green in here. I have a book here with all my colors. And... Um, I might just go to that and compare some of these colors and um, these are all the colors that I do have 
and see what might work in this pen better. I like a brown. I do have some brown uh, or some blue. But I'm surprised, actually. Um, let me find my brown colors. I really thought this was going to be, this, this might be pretty to match, match that. My samples are all in the back. Timber frame might work. That's a pretty, that's a pretty color. Um, well, I'll work on that. I'll have to get back with you when I do my next ink well and see what ink I decided to put in this. Um, we can do a dip test though with the pen and uh, just see how it writes before I leave you all. So I will do that if I can get my pen in there carefully. Yeah, I think that'll work. And let's try this. Come on. Yeah, that's very green, but it seems to write nicely. Some medium nib, which I prefer. Mr. Brook, did I spell that correctly? There we go, there's my new pen funky lake it writes very nicely not sure about the ink that came with it but um i'm gonna find something that works i don't know if i'll go with the blue or if i might i'm just kind of thinking about going with the brown maybe to complement the um trim but i like it and um uh, I love that spring. It's just got this little springy feeling when you put that in there. I don't know if all Estabrooks do that. But there's my furry first Estabrook SD, Funky Lake. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, come down the ink hole with me. See you soon. Bye.